Before we begin episode 176, big announcement. Last week, we talked about the Razor Rescue Edition of Room Tour Project. If you wanna submit your setup to enter to win a brand new Razor theme setup, check the Gleam link down below. We could submit your setup to be entered. Pretty crazy stuff coming on. Wanted to announce it now so you guys get your submissions in. But what's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 176 of Room Tour Project. This week, a special laptop edition. Had a lot of requests to do this one. If you see anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. But let's start off episode 176. Getting it going is Juice, with a really nice looking bedroom here, loving the hardwood floors and those, I don't know, what were they called, blinds? They're pretty big, those are some big windows. But you guys aren't here for that, you're here for the laptop setups. And as you can see, his actual desk setup is pretty nice and simple, very organized as well. And I'm loving like the little sunset peeking in there, this little golden hour shining through. So checking it out, his single monitor is a 27 inch Samsung. It's the 390 series. It is a curved LED display. Got it propped up on like a monitor riser. And then in the back off to the right side, you could see his laptop. This is an MSI GS72. It's a 17 inch with an Intel i7 6700HQ with 16 gigs of RAM and a GTX 965M graphics card. It's even got a little sticker on there and his own custom wallpaper extends. And then checking out his peripherals, we have the Cooler Master Storm Devastator keyboard. Always a fan of that one, it's a good throwback. With the Eagle Tech MG001 wireless gaming mouse on an Asus X extended mouse pad with a Myonix wrist pad there. And his speakers are the JBL T450 Bluetooth. Got them on each side of the monitor. And like I showed before, it's a nice bedroom setup, pretty chill overall. And as the whole point of this series is, you know, to give you guys ideas and inspirations, you can see a very nice executed simple setup that is all powered off the MSI laptop. His name may be Juice, but he's bringing the sauce. That was good. Now we got Farden, and I can't think of anything uh, good to rhyme that with besides Farten, but we're not immature here, all right? Let's move on besides that. Another single monitor, very simple setup. Uh, he has it docked behind the display, so he could just, you know, dock it for like the desk workstation, unplug it, bring him with him on the go. And again, another setup right next to the window. You gotta have that natural ambient lighting, guys. I'm telling you, it's crucial. So his display is a 24 inch ViewSonic, it's the XG2402, and there's a 144 hertz panel, little Iron Man figure up top. Then down to his peripherals, we have the Corsair Strafe keyboard with Cherry MX Blue switches, a Red Dragon Centrifus, Centrophorus mouse, and an Xbox One controller, like a secondary peripheral. No headphones or speakers to report on. Then for his laptop, the Lenovo Legion Y7000, it's a 15 and a half inch screen, Inside an Intel i7 8750H CPU, 8 gigs of RAM, and NVIDIA GTX 1060 internal graphics. So a pretty powerful laptop. When it comes down to it here, just the necessities, more simple, nothing really unnecessary, no desk lamp, and there's not even any RGB lighting. So got that window there, that'll suffice for him. Now we've got Ramon and he's going the opposite route of Farden because he does have those RGB lights going on. And this is all matching to that, you know, purplish kind of theme, even down to the you know, like Eclipse wallpaper, you know? So checking it out, he has his laptop hooked up to the monitor, which is a 32 inch Samsung curved display. And as for his laptop, it is an MSI GS73 VR Stealth Pro. It is 17.3 inches with a Core i7, 6700HQ, 16 gigs of RAM, and also has NVIDIA GTX 1060 integrated graphics. For his peripherals, he has the Corsair Gaming K55 RGB keyboard, a nice budget option at $50, the Corsair M65 Pro RGB, with the Corsair H60 Corsair headset. So going all Corsair there for the peripherals, then you can see in the background he also has his PS4. So laptop setup, console setup, all right there at the desktop. And he noted it's his budget gaming and streaming setup. So he has the webcam over on the laptop and without breaking the bank, obviously for his peripherals, you know, the laptop is the more expensive item here, obviously, since it is, you know, pretty powerful overall. So it shows you, you can have a nice little desk set up. It's not the biggest desk. It's not the most organized, but it works for him and it's going to get the job done. Now we've got jokes on you, and this one is a, uh, a nice like audiophile enthusiast setup. Again, very simple. 
And uh, you'll see what I'm talking about once we get to his audio gear, but also going with the single monitor setup. This is a Samsung 24 inch monitor. And then off to the side, kind of acting like a secondary display. You can see he has his iPad Pro. This one's just like propped up, you know, give him some extra screen real estate. So his laptop isn't really seen here. I assume he has it docked away or tucked away somewhere. But as for his actual laptop, it's also another Lenovo Legion. This is the Y530. It's a 15 inch screen with an i5 8300H and NVIDIA GTX 1050 graphics with eight gigs of RAM. Down to his peripherals, we have the Ducky 1-2 TKL keyboard with Cherry MX Blue switches. The Logitech G903 wireless mouse and an MM200 extended mouse pad from Corsair. And into his audio gear for his headphones, the Sennheiser HD 598SE with a Vmoto Boom Pro mic. So, you know, kind of making it like a better headset. The AudioQuest Night Owl carbon headphones, which are extremely nice. And the Bayer Dynamic Amaron Home. Powering that is his IFI stack with the, the iRack, the IFI Nano iGalvantic 3.0, a micro i USB, uh, micro i can SC, lots of stuff here. Uh, iTube, Gemini 3, I don't even know. They submit the stuff and I just read it off. So the laptop station with the switch the secondary screen with the iPad and all his audio gear makes for a nice sort of bedroom setup and then last but no 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 not least is rich this one shapeshifter changes with the RGB lights now it's green and purple kind of like a Joker Riddler kind of theme it's always what I think of when I see green and purple together and then whop purple and ice blue change it all up I don't know why I said WAP, it was just what I was feeling. But with the mounted ultra wide, the laptop docked off to the left, plugged into an external graphics card so he could, you know, get some extra juice out of it for gaming. The laptop he's using here is the Dell XPS 13 with an i7-8550U CPU, 16 gigs of RAM, and inside that enclosure, the Razer Core X is a GTX 1080. That's all hooked up to his 34-inch ASUS ROG PG34 8Q, so a popular gaming monitor paired with the 1080 graphics card, making for a pretty nice duo here. As for the peripherals, the keyboard is the Hexgears X1 with chalk white switches, with the Razer Mamba Hyperflux wireless mouse and the Razer Hyperflux mouse pad kind of duo. And for audio, he has the Corsair Void Pro RGB headset on the Corsair ST100 headset stand. And you can go along, check out some of his other keyboards. Nice little collection off to the side. I can dig it. So great stuff here from Rich with the nice and wide desk, lots of arm space. RGB lighting all around to match the peripherals and taking advantage of an external graphics card enclosure to hook up a 1080 to the gaming display. This episode of Room Tour Project sponsored by the all new Corsair Iron Claw Wireless. Utilizing Slipstream technology, making this again one of the most efficient wireless peripherals on the market, you can take advantage of its contoured shape to fit bigger hands. The 18,000 DPI sensor, adjustable in increments of one, RGB lighting, and the 10 fully reprogrammable buttons. So if you want to get your meaty claws on this big old chonky boy, I'll put a link for you in the description down below. And all right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 176 of Room Tour Project, the special laptop edition. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget, check the links down below for all the gear and hardware you saw, plus the instructions to submit for Room Tour Project, as well as to be entered for Razor Rescue. Blanked out. If you liked this episode, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.